Hi viewers, welcome to Rowers. In this episode, we're giving you an overview of the town and what you can expect at accommodation establishments. This is day 14 of our 27 day journey through the Philippines. And at this stage of our journey, we're doing a road trip from Puerto Princesa to El Nido and ending off in Coron. So we're spending a night in Rowers and one night in St. Vincent. Myself now in Roas, and it's a small town that has a few attractions around, but is a springboard to a beautiful and spoiled islands in the surrounding area. In the previous episode, we had time to visit one of the island that was Modessa Island. If we knew, we will have spent the night there, but we're glad we came across it. Roas is very safe as is most of the Philippines and in the previous episode you saw how we wandered around at night on foot and met the locals. We stay at the Ocean Manor in which was a basic and very affordable B&B which we found online. We only required to stay one night. The room was small but was clean and we had aircon, television and a warm shower. But just as a reminder, when you come to the hotels in Philippines, just ask the host to switch on the water because they tend to switch it off to save electricity. You can expect basic breakfast but it's included in your stay. Over to you Nizam to tell us more about the accommodation. Hey everyone, uh, we're on our way out of Roas, a uh, small little village between Puerto Princesa and El Nino, right in the middle, uh, in a big island of Palawan, forming part of the country of the Philippines. Uh, we're checking out here, we had a good day in uh, Roas, we did the island tour, and it's about half past four in the afternoon, and the ocean man is really lenient to let us check out so late. Uh, we just wanted to show you something, because this is a family travel channel, from a family perspective, we want to bring to your attention um, that quite a few accommodation establishments in the Philippines and in the islands are like this. It's just basically a room, uh, enough for two people, the bed occupies the whole room, there's a little bit of bathroom in the sink. Uh, this one is not self-catering, some of them normally have a bit of self-catering, a uh, basin or something. This one just has a basin for your hands, and then the toilet shower is in there. So if you... If we were to travel as a family, which is myself, Naima, and the two kids, this would not be sufficient. There would be no place for the kids to sleep. And this establishment in itself doesn't have any family-friendly rooms. Uh, so just something to take note of uh, when you're booking your bookings in the Philippines, especially the um, villas or guest houses in the smaller remote areas, uh, you may have to just double check through your booking agent or online send them an email before the time just to confirm that there the, the is a space for everybody in your family. But for us this was perfect, it was just a one night stop laying over. We are now heading on an hour's journey to St. Vincent and uh, we will be spending a night there and then thereafter we will be going to Almeida which is another 2-3 th hours drive. Uh, okay, so as we do our 27 day journey through the Philippines, as we come across more family related content, we will inform you. As you know, on this particular journey, we are traveling as a married couple, our kids are back home, but we are still always on the lookout for anything family related to help you plan your trip to the Philippines as a family. Okay, see you in St. Vincent.